2,000 already in place to safeguard Russia's most prestigious event ever. For Russian whole, uh, this is really a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity uh, to take the floor in front of the uh, multi-billion uh, audience, a TV audience. The Cossacks add a touch of glamour to the otherwise drab security blanket that covers Sochi. 200 years ago, they were the ferocious horsemen leading Tsarist forces into battle as Imperial Russia tried to bring this rebellious region under control. Today, they're a more welcome presence. We have patrols of two policemen and two Cossacks walking along the streets, this woman says. You can see those patrols almost everywhere, and it's good. But she adds, it is generally quiet here. Not so quiet, just 600 miles away, in Sochi's nearest transport hub, Volgograd. Three suicide bombings in the past three months. The suspects, Islamist separatists from the North Caucasus, probably the descendants of the people the Cossacks came to fight. The Cossacks were sort of the frontiersmen for the Russian Empire. They were the cutting edge of the sword of these Russian armies that came in and, and chopped down all the trees in the North Caucasus, uh, wiped out the villages, slaughtered the people, ethnically cleansed them and raped their women. So the Cossacks are sort of the face of Russian imperialism. Last summer, Russia's most wanted man, Doku Omarov, the leader of the Caucasus rebels, called for attacks on the Winter Olympics, saying the events were taking place on the bones of their ancestors. Sochi itself is under martial law, essentially, uh, and has been for months now. It's a very tight security bubble, uh, so I think it's too hard to target for the Chechens or the Caucasian Emirate. But don't be surprised if they try somewhere else. We've seen them strike Volgograd on December 29th and December 30th, killing 34 people. Today, the Cossacks may be a largely ceremonial addition to the tight security in Sochi. A calculation, nevertheless, to boost Russian pride and for Putin to show the rebels who's really in control. Nick Robertson, CNN, Moscow.